Hi, everybody. It's your friendly female alter art. Hey, everybody. It's Chris. Hey, everybody. It's Alex. If you have DID, you've been through severe trauma, and you are more likely to be the victim of trauma than cause it. Chris didn't find out until a couple of years ago. He was starting to understand the signs of dissociation and losing time and things like that, but it wasn't really until Alex yelled at him in the shower that it really came to fruition. It's all gonna be safe, and we're all gonna have a great time. Uh, Art is the uh, Bucks fan. Hey guys. There will be some days where we have three switches all day. And there's some days where we'll go through 30 in two hours. Those are rough days. Rapid switching days are not fun. But it, it's as much as the system needs to. It happens when a child that dissociates to a high level, experiences severe, repeated trauma. The brain basically goes, I'm not gonna handle this. This person's gonna handle this. One of the main questions we've always got and one that is the most hurtful is, oh, what trauma happened? When you have DID, something happened that was incredibly horrible. And just random people telling you, I wanna hear about what happened to you that was so horrible that it made your brain fragment into different parts. like. I don't think the general public has the right to that information. Early in diagnosis, when there was only, there was four of us, we just happened to all start with A's. It was Alex and April and me. I picked my name, Art, and then Andrew. And it just happened to be all A's, so that's why it's the A system. This is me. We've been playing The Sims. This is on Sims 4. This is Chris. Um, he has short hair in the inner world. I don't think anybody is going to be surprised on how April looks, but this is how April looks. One of the biggest surprises we get is Alex's hair. Yes, Alex is a blonde in the inner world. I don't think anybody's ever ready for Asher, but this is Asher. I think he looks awesome. Front five is the five alters that front 95% of the time in the life. Asher is in charge of most social media, most likely because he has no shame and doesn't care. He just puts stuff out and because he's having fun with it. This is the product of childhood trauma. Cute, ain't he? April makes thirst traps and that's just what she wants to do and that's fine. Open up the safe, she's got a lot to say. Your face that'll put you in your place. I have recently taken over our YouTube and I'm trying to do it. Hi everybody, it's your friendly female ultra art. And this is what it's like to be in a day in my life. Alex and Chris have really stepped away from social media because it was so toxic and they're focusing more on the home life. Oh God. What am I doing with my life? Good Lord. <laughs> We had been diagnosed with DID for about a year at that point, and we have just were looking for a community that we could be ourselves in, and that's why we started making TikToks. You want to know what having DID is like? I have no idea where this came from. Why do I have a giant black streak on my face? It was so hard seeing fake being the comment. Sometimes hundreds a day we were getting called fake and just getting hate and people were saying horrible, horrible things about us for months. And it, like we ended up in the hospital because of it. It, it took a, a massive toll on us as as a system. Like I'm, I'm shaking a little bit right now. Nowadays we're, we're fine, we're over it. For every hate comment that we've got and somebody calling us fake, we've got an email from somebody saying how we have helped them and how, thank you for being representation. It 
It affects how you interact with your friends. And we, as a system, are married to Sam, the system spouse, our lovely spouse. She is amazing. It took her a minute to fully grasp what was going on, but when she did, she has loved us individually and got to learn about us individually and loved us differently. Chris and Sam are married, and then Alex and April are actually dating Sam. They have been dating for over a year now, and they all have different types of relationships. Hold on, I got, it's Asher, I got a ground, hold on. Maintaining relationships with DID is incredibly hard. We've never been able to have long-term friends because one of my friends might text me, but Art is out and she won't respond. And then I'll never get the message so my friends think I ghost them. Hey everybody, it's Chris. And this is day five of our trip, I believe, but it's the first one I've been out for. So it's super hard keeping external relationships and the internal relationships within the system are they're not, they're not going anywhere. How we communicate mostly is unfortunately, and I hate it, but it's through art. Art is the gatekeeper in our system. She is usually at least a little bit aware of what's going on at all times. Something positive about the ID is there are headmates, there are system members that can help you do things that you can't do. I have severe ADHD. I can't sit down and do stuff, but I know like April can sit down and organize stuff. She can do things that are really, really cool that I can't do. Somebody started making waffles. I don't know who started making waffles, but now I got waffles. <music> Society as a whole has seen DID through the lens of horror movies like Split and things in law and order where people are doing horrible, horrible things that have DID. Orwell or Jade or Samuel or Heinrich had the light for a moment and emailed me. May I talk to one of them, please? That can't happen. Thinking it, just because somebody has DID, they're gonna go out and hurt people and be this dangerous to society is just so rough to see. And it's such, it's a huge misconception. I, I don't think, Art's gonna go out there and do anything besides maybe hiss at somebody. Like, we're not dangerous. So we are just gonna show the general public, this is how we live. This is what a day looks like for us. And anything else, if you wanna go research the ID, you can. And if you just wanna come say hi, come say hi.